this video we are going to discuss about the next problem which is based on markov process tpm how to form the tpm and how to solve and get the answer of the probability okay so here is the question three boys a b c are throwing ball uh, throwing a ball to each other a always throws the ball to b see here is the thing a always throws the ball to b so this is a present state correct this will be the future state in future what happens so this presently a always throws the ball to b that means this will be one he will never throw to himself anyways it is not possibly correct so i can just mention it as zero and this as zero next and b always throws the ball to c so b is or is going to throw the ball to c so this will be one rest will be zero anyways you know when you add up these three elements you should get it as one as the sum okay last row but c is just as likely to throw the ball to b or as to a now the thing is that whenever c is having the ball the chances are anyways he won't be throwing to himself so this will be zero okay remember one thing a will not be throwing to himself that is zero b b zero c c zero okay now so presently c is having the ball he the chances are throwing the ball to b or a a or b so the chances will be half and half okay so this i can write it as 0 0.5 0 0.5 so here i'll write it as 0 0.5 0 0.5 that's it so we have got the tpm transitional probability matrix now it's quite easy let us see the question find the probability that a has the ball after fourth throw so after fourth throw no need to find long run here in the question they have not asked okay so no need to find for the long run we have to just find the probability whenever probability we have to find we have to go by this step right nth step probability distribution here a power n is equal to a power 0 p power n we have to find the n value how to find a power 0 is nothing but the initial stage find the probability that a as the ball after fourth row okay before that one more statement is given write tpm we have wrote the tpm if c is the first person to throw the ball so in initially for the first throw this is for a this is b and this is three c so c will be having the ball in the first throw so i have written it as what one okay zero zero one next a power one will be the second throw a power two third throw a power three fourth throw so i am going to find for the third throw as well as for the th fourth throw what will happen find the probability that a has the ball whether a will be having the ball or not or by how much percent or what is the probability let us see so a power 2 we will find out a power 2 as well as a power 3 for the third throw as well as for the fourth throw in the question it is asked for the fourth throw itself but i will show you one interesting thing is there so i will just show you that also so first i will go for a power 2 which is nothing but the third throw so in third throw the a power 0 is given as 0 0 1 okay c is having the ball p power 2 i need to find so p power 1 we have the tpm itself into again the tpm p power 1 into p power 1 okay so this will give me the answer as this this is 3 cross 3 matrix p power 2 is the answer next so a power 2 is nothing but a power 0 which is nothing but this p power 2 the answer of this when i multiply how to multiply this row into column will give me the first element row into second column second element row into third column third element okay 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 0.5 plus 1 into 0 0 like that 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 0.5 plus 1 into 0 0.5 so it's basically the third row itself okay because here one is there rest all it's zero okay so we have got the matrix uh, like the vectors a power 2 we have got so in this this is for a this is for b and this is for c as you can observe 
in the third throw a the probability of getting the ball like in the question they have asked find the probability that a has the ball after fourth throw so we are finding the third throw because i just want to show you that a is not having the ball after the third throw okay the probability is zero let us see the what happens in the fourth row whether he a will get a will be getting the ball or not so in third row sorry fourth row we have to go for a power 3 which is equal to a power 0 into p power 3 so p power 3 i have to find which is nothing but p power 2 into p power 1 p power 1 is nothing but the tpm that we have initially uh, written p power 2 will be the answer of this like we have calculated so p power 2 into p power 1 will give me this matrix p power 3 so i have to just multiply with a power 0 this is this will remain as it is okay a power 0 won't change this into this i have to multiply it's the same procedure how you multiplied here you will get the answer as this it is nothing but the third row itself okay you can observe third row is same as this so this will be the answer this will be before a this is for B and this is for C. So C, C here. A probability is 0 0.25. So I can say that 25% the probability of getting probability that A has this A has the ball after fourth throw. I can say it is 25%. Okay. So this is the thing. 